Welcome back to UK Pro Reviewer. Today, we're taking a close look at the Poco F5 Pro, a mid-range smartphone that offers excellent performance and an impressive display. But is it worth your hard-earned money? Let's find out. The Poco F5 Pro is a specialist in its price range, focusing on delivering top-notch performance and a fantastic display. It comes with a sleek design, but if you're after a premium design or a stellar camera, there are better options available. However, if you're a gamer or a media enthusiast on a budget, this phone might be the perfect fit. Xiaomi has made some changes compared to its previous release, the Poco F4 GT. This time, they offer the Poco F5 and the Poco F5 Pro at more affordable prices. Today, we'll be diving into the £559, £499 if you're quick, Poco F5 Pro and see if it hits that sweet spot of price and performance. The Poco F5 Pro shares a lot of similarities with Xiaomi's Redmi K60, which was launched in China last year. In terms of design, it's not the most eye-catching phone, with a rectangular camera module and a glass back that tends to attract fingerprints. It feels solid in the hand, but it lacks the premium look of some other devices in its price range. Moving on to the display, the Poco F5 Pro offers an impressive screen for its price. It features a 6.67-inch AMOLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate, which is quite common in the Poco and Redmi lineups. What sets it apart is the 3200 by 1440 resolution WQHD+, a specification usually found in flagship phones. However, it's worth mentioning that activating this resolution may cause some UI quirks. Nevertheless, it's one of the best mid-range displays on the market, providing sharp visuals and vibrant colors. Now let's talk about the camera. Unfortunately, the Poco F5 Pro doesn't excel in this department. It shares the same camera setup as the Poco F4, featuring a 64 megapixels main sensor, an 8 megapixels ultra-wide lens, and a 2 megapixels macro camera. While it can capture decent shots in good lighting conditions, it falls short compared to other phones in its price range. Phones like the Redmi Note 12 Pro and the OnePlus Nord 2T offer better camera performance. If camera quality is a priority, the Pixel 6a is a standout option. When it comes to performance, the Poco F5 Pro shines. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip, making it one of the fastest phones in its price range. Paired with 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage, it delivers smooth performance and handles gaming with ease. Gamers will be pleased with the ability to play demanding games like Wreckfest at high settings. Battery life is another strong point of the Poco F5 Pro. With its 5160mAh battery, it easily lasts through a full day of usage, even with the sharp and bright WQHD Plus display. In terms of charging, it supports 67W wired fast charging, allowing for quick top-ups. It also offers wireless charging, a feature rarely found in this price range. Now, let's address the software. The Poco F5 Pro runs on Xiaomi's MIUI, which can be a bit cluttered and comes with some bloatware. However, it offers customization options, and you can fine-tune the settings to suit your preferences. Keep in mind that other mid-range options like the Pixel 7a and the Motorola Edge 40 provide a cleaner software experience out of the box, without the need for extensive tweaking. In conclusion, the Poco F5 Pro is a powerful and feature-packed mid-range smartphone. With its Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip and impressive WQHD Plus display, it offers excellent performance and visuals for its price. However, it falls short in the camera department, and its software can feel cluttered compared to some competitors. If you prioritize performance and media playback, the Poco F5 Pro is a great choice. But if you're looking for a more premium design, cleaner software, or a better camera experience, there are other options available at a similar or even lower price point. That's it for today's review of the Poco F5 Pro. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth reviews and comparisons. And as always, leave your comments and questions down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.